is busy is mine. The whole summer I haven't been on my feet a minute. Uh, I know how you feel, Blueberry. It's been forever since I've had a vacation. Whoop. <laughs> Oops. Uh, gotta go. <laughs> See you, Plum. I know. A surprise vacation for my friends. To the very best tropical resort in the whole bitty world. An island paradise called Beyond the Berry Breeze. <laughs> Blueberry, is everything okay? Uh, uh, oh, just breezy. I mean, uh, be beyond great. I mean, very fine. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> You're looking at swimsuits, but summer's almost over, silly. <gasps> uh, this? Uh, uh, I thought it was a hat. <laughs> uh, what do you think? I think you're trying to hide something. <laughs> Are you planning a special surprise swim party? Um, no. So, you don't need a swimsuit? <sighs> no, no. Absolutely not. Not at all. <laughs> okay. Then would you help me store these suits away? I have to make room for my fabulous fall fashion. Wait! Stop! I can't hide it anymore. But you gotta promise you won't tell anyone. Oh, sure! Of course! Um, absolutely! Strawberry is going to take us. <laughs> Surprise! My fall colors are in! Fall? Uh, we really are more interested in your summer colors. Like that in a mango mood you had? Or how about your playful papaya? Or sudden summer sunshine? But it's almost fall. Why do you want summer colors? <laughs> All right. I've known you long enough to sense when secrets are simmering. Um... Uh, okay, okay. But it's a secret. What's a secret? <laughs> okay. The most important thing about not letting Strawberry know we know she's taking us on a vacation we're not supposed to know about is acting surprised when she finally tells us. Now, let me see your very best surprise reaction. Wow! Woo! 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 Oh, Super goodness. swell! Oh, yay! I mean, yippee! <sighs> From the top, one more time, with feeling... Visualize that she has just walked in and told us the news. Your reaction is... <gasps> wow, finally! You've got it! You look truly surprised! Surprised by what? Oh, uh, uh, we're practicing for my new play. <laughs> Neat! I won't interrupt. I just came by to find Orange and... Oh, see if you have a diving mask and snorkel at your store? Oh, uh, uh, sure, Strawberry. Come on. <gasps> Do you know what that means? We're gonna go snorkeling on our vacation! <laughs> Wait! I, I don't know how to snorkel. Oh, it's easy. We'll teach you. <laughs> This is the best way to chop onions. <laughs> they usually make me tear up, so... <laughs> you silly. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what did you say? I said, that was close. <laughs>
important to... Um... Hmm... Hold on. Um... Oh, here it is. I wanted to ask you if you'd help me write this essay for a contest. Describe your dream destination. I would take my friends on a surprise vacation to the very best tropical resort in the whole Vinny world. An island paradise called Beyond the Berry Breeze. Ah, I am so surprised. But, well, that's all I've got so far. <laughs> you, you made it all up? Yeah, I just keep writing and rewriting and tossing it out. <laughs> oh, I was gonna give up when I thought of you. You're the perfect person to help me. Sure, just uh, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do to mess it up. I mean, fix things for good. Uh, I mean, fix it up. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. You're the best. Uh, password? Come on, it's me. Well, it was your idea. <sighs> Beyond the berry breeze. <laughs> That's it. Hi, you blueberry. Ready to try on your beach sarong? No, no. No beach sarong. I love mine! What's wrong, blueberry? Well, I did some research on Beyond the Berry Breeze Island, and can you believe it? There are, um, uh, no restaurants there anywhere. Uh, no place to eat at all. I mean, what kind of vacation would it be if we can't eat? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I'll be very hungry. Well, did you tell Strawberry? No. I mean... I can't give Strawberry the bad news until Strawberry gives us the good news about the surprise vacation. She's got to act. I'm sure Strawberry will cancel the trip when she finds out. We won't let that happen. We can't let Strawberry down. <gasps> we'll live on island food. Ooh, ooh, like coconuts and mangoes and mangoes and coconuts. Yeah! I mean, the island's food only grows on very tall trees. Uh, way too high for bitty girls like us to reach. So, perhaps, uh, we should forget the whole thing until next year? Or maybe the year after that? Maybe you're right, Blueberry. What if we couldn't climb all the way up to the... I mean, oh, maybe we shouldn't go. I was so looking forward to it. I'm so, so sorry. Well, it's not your fault. Oh, that was awful. I hope they weren't too disappointed. What's awful, Blueberry? Oh, Bosley Bookworm. I've really gotten myself into a pickle. You're inside a pickle? No, I misunderstood something Strawberry said, and so I told all my friends we were going on a vacation, but we really aren't. So instead of disappointing them, I kind of... made up some things that I thought they wouldn't like about the vacation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> May I ask, did it work? <sighs> well, it did, but I never want to go through that again. No, I would think not. Uh, I'll see you later, Bosley Bookworm. I want to see what that sound is. That's it! Higher! Higher! Just because we're bitty doesn't mean we can't bounce big! Yay! <laughs> Blueberry! For practice! We're not going hungry on vacation. I don't know. Where's your can-do spirit? Kinda in a can't-do place. Don't give up, Blueberry! No, wait! Blueberry? We'll have to work on the landing, but look at all the fruit you picked. Nothing's gonna stop us. Uh, I'm very, very 
really sorry, girls, but, um... Well, what I'm trying to say is... Well, the trip is off. <gasps> Strawberry canceled it? Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, she will. Yeah. Uh, I did some more research. And, uh... A very big blue jay. So? So, well, <laughs> the uh, only airline that flies to be on the Berry Breeze Island is, uh, called Berry Big Blue Jay Airways. <laughs> and believe me, it is bad news. You sit on a bird and hang on for dear life, and they don't even land. You have to jump. You have to bring your own parachute. Own parachute? Aww. Thank you, we won't be going to be on the berry breeze. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Poor things. They were so let down. What if you just told them about your pickle that you were in and tell them what really happened? <sighs> Maybe. I know I was wrong not to tell them from the start, but I don't need to tell them the truth now. Because they've already given up on the trip. I'm sure of it. <laughs> What's that? Maybe it's the sound of them giving up. In fact, it's going to be fun! Come on, join us! Oh, maybe some other time? Like now? <laughs> I'm okay. Mostly. We'll take this flying thing a step at a time, Blueberry. We want you to start small and work up to total and complete freefall. Free fall. Must I? It's for the vacation. Oh, the vacation. Uh, yes. Now remember, baby bounces. Just little tiny baby bounces. Wow! Maybe we tighten those a little too tight. <laughs> Strawberry alone. What is it, Blueberry? You know you can tell me anything. I'm your friend. I don't know if you will be after I tell you. I... I overheard you talking about that island. The 
the one in your essay? Oh, my describe your dream destination essay for the contest? Yes, except I didn't know it was a contest. I thought... I thought you were going to take us all on a surprise vacation. And I told everyone about it. Ooh. The girls were so excited. I didn't have the heart to tell them it was a mistake. So I tried to give them reasons not to go. But they just wouldn't give up on it. Oh, my strawberry. They're never going to forgive me. Well, don't give up on them. Tell them the truth. That it was all my misunderstanding. So, there's going to be no vacation. I'm sorry for everything I put you guys through. So, there's going to be no vacation? No snorkeling? No surfing? No mangoes or coconuts? No parachutes or, or, or bungees? No blue jays? Mangoes snor... Blue Jays? It's all the things we imagined would be part of our vacation. Hmm. Except for the Blue Jays. It sounds like a perfect vacation. A dream, dream destination. destination! Hey, we can put all the things we imagined into your essay. Great idea! Will you all help me write it? should just give up and send it in like it is. Give up? We never give up. <laughs> now that's the spirit, Blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There must be something else we made up for Beyond the Berry Breeze. The secret knock? Beyond the Berry Breeze. <gasps> and your bitty song. We'll fly to you with these. That's it! Maybe we can make the essay special by making it a song. That just might work. Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Called Berry Breezy Bay. <laughs> it 
it may not be beyond the very breeze, <laughs> but it's real. <laughs> For not giving up, Blueberry. Well, I had some inspiration. <laughs> All the excitement. I haven't heard this much cheering since I saw the boys and Berry Boys perform live in Sugar Apple City. Today's the Big Berry Ball Championship. Berry Bitty Bombers! Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Berry Ball. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You've been all over the world and never heard of Berry Ball? I've heard of Bean Ball, Banana Ball, Broccoli Ball. I don't personally care for Broccoli Ball. Why, I even once played Bok Choy Ball in the jungles of Plantain Province. And let me tell you. <laughs> later. But if you've never heard of Berry Ball, then you're in for a treat. Look! <laughs> hey! Let's see some bustle and the hustle! Wow! And this is just a practice game. Wait till tonight when they play for the championship. This town is gonna go gaga! Gooseberries! Berry Ball is a blast! I want to play! Apple, wait! All right, team. Huddle up. Yeah, it's good, so right. it's good, off. Tonight's the night we have dreamed of all our lives. Why, since I was just a wee barrican and stood ankle high to a baby grasshopper. And seriously, I did that on a regular basis. Excuse me? I have looked up and wondered to the towering berry ball heroes of the past. I mean, sure, they weren't actually all that tall, but... Excuse me? My point is that all our lives, we've been waiting, practicing, dreaming about this day. Remember your training team. Remember your dreams. And let's mash our opponents to a pulp! Yeah! yeah! What is such a big emergency that you had to interrupt my big speech? I want to play! A video of me making a winning goal would look great on my very best bits page. Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry, Apple, but... Now I know what you're thinking. She talks tall, but can she move the ball? Well, <laughs> you are looking at the all-time high score in fig football at the Mount Felbert Championship. But... A quarterback kiwi kickball in the Kumquat Keys? But... Why, I was even goalie once for the Jelly City Jammers! It's not that. You see, berry ball is for barricans only. It is? I'm sorry, but you just can't play. I can't? That's the rules. I don't make them. I just enforce them, and... Barrican Brad! You call that hustle? I've seen slugs with better hustle! Sorry, Apple. I gotta... That is not the Berry Bitty Bomber way! Okay. I guess I'll just stay out of the way. Mosey off. <laughs> this is me. Sleeping. It's so hard to think about anything but Berry Ball. I'm so excited. I know. But meanwhile, we've got a full day of things to finish off. You're right. I've got to concentrate. This will not be easy. You guys ready to dance? <sighs> as ready as we'll ever be. Sweet sugar snap peas. Dancing? I love dancing. Oh, can I dance with you guys, huh? Um, well... I mean, I've danced a lot of places, but never here. A video of me dancing Berry Bitty City style would sure look great on my Berry Best Bits page. You see, Apple, we're not just dancing. This is a ballet class. And I know what you're thinking. Got the grooves, but does she know the moves? Well, I once danced with the Melon Men of Mango Mesa. It was a bright, moonlit night on the moors of Mango Mesa. The bongo beans had just begun beating a boogie-woogie beat when all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, I just... <gasps> hey, wait up! I'm sure you're a great dancer, Apple. It's just... well, this is really going to be a challenge. See, this is a black ribbon ballet class. It's the highest level. We've all had to work our way up. Ah, oh, fiddle fruit. I can figure out anything.
anything. This'll be a piece of pie. Or easy as cake. Oh, you know what I mean. And we'll arabesque, glissade, tour jeté, pot de beret, pirouette, and chené off. Got it? Errol who? Arabesque, glissade, tour jeté, pot de beret, pirouette, and chené, and next. Sorry. You know, Apple, you do have some talent. You're welcome to try my other ballet class. It starts right after this one. Oh, yeah. What color ribbon do they wear? Baby blue. in a class with a bunch of babies. Don't be old baby blue ribbon. Prance and peach pits. I've danced all over the world, but no, I can't dance with the big kids. Oh, goodness, no! Please, no walking on the berry ball field, if you don't mind, dear. Oh, sorry, Berry Kim Bloom. I didn't mean uh, to... Now, off you go now. <laughs> Everyone will be showing up today, expecting my field to be pristine. I thought they were showing up to watch the berry ball game. Oh, that too, I suppose. Uh, but please, steer clear, my dear. Uh, shoes leave footprints. Unless you've got some kind of magic shoes. <laughs> magic shoes. Yeah, right. Wait a minute. Magic shoes! Download your groove from the Berry Web's very biggest database of dance moves. So get up, my little groove booties. Let the boogie fever flow through you. <laughs> that I could live with her does not mean we can walk all over her furniture. And now, for the final test. Woohoo! Bye-bye, Baby Blue. Just wait till they see me now. You. You're a regular dance master. Yeah, that was awesome. But how'd you get so good so quickly? Oh, well, uh, I was so busy thinking about Mango Mesa, I forgot all these sweet skills I picked up in, uh, Dancylvania. Yeah, and I hadn't stretched yet, see? <laughs> and you really can't dance without stretching, am I right? Oh, well, got more dancing to do. Can't stop till you drop, as we dancers always say. viewers on my Very Best Bits page. Today I'm in the very exciting Berry Bitty City, where I'm bringing you all the latest and greatest dance moves. Just watch me go! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. 
Right. I got the moves. Look at me. I'm a dance machine. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> you love me. <sighs> That's enough for now. Dancing is fun, but it sure can be exhausting. Now, all I gotta do is go home and upload this video to my page, and I'll be a very bitty worldwide sensation! <laughs> Okay, looking good. Now to upload my smooth moves and post them on my site. Hey, wait! Stop that, you groove booties! It's not even music! shoes, but shoes that were dancing? Uh, well... Apple. Okay. I made some groove booties to help me dance better. I didn't want to dance with the baby berrykins. I wanted to dance with you guys. Only, I kind of took a shortcut. But those shoes aren't even on your feet. Yeah, they kind of do their own thing when they hear a beat. Actually, it's pretty impressive when you think about it. I mean, boy, those things can find a beat in anything. Reminds me of the bouncing blueberries of Grapefruit Grotto. Apple, the shoes! Oh, yeah! I do sprinkler timer, you see. My playing field will get just the perfect amount of tender, loving care it deserves. Oh, goodness, no! Not of my beautiful grass! <laughs>
they came this way. It's like they just disappeared. Well, glad that's over with. Like the locals always say beneath the peaks of Mount Kiliman Jelly Jar. Worry? Why worry? Our troubles are all behind us. This is where it all happens, fellas. Let's score those goals! There they go! Second quarter! Look! Here comes Barry Kim Bruce! Lucky Logan Berries. It's half time. Uh oh, that means half time show. <laughs> this isn't funny. My lifelong dream is falling apart. What do we do? What do we do? We need to figure out a way to get those dancing booties from Barry and Bruce and turn them off. Marshmallow, I'm cured. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You see, I did that dance on purpose. Phew, I'm sorry my groove booties ruined your big game, Barry Can Bruce. No harm done. The score is even, and we've got half a game to go. And it's time to go! Thanks for your help, Strawberry. No problem, but we better keep these on ice. Hopefully you learned your lesson. All I wanted to do was what everyone else was doing. 
And, okay, maybe show off a little along the way. Come back to Dad's class. I think this time you'll like it. With all those babies? No way! I know the baby blue class isn't advanced enough for you, so I decided to create a new class between beginner and advanced. Hot pink! Oh, boy! Sour, sweet, and blueberry have already signed up. This is going to be great! I'm going to start practicing my dance moves for real right away. Well, the excitement's over. I've got a whole year to heal this poor field and get the grass ready for the next game. for many days, but finally, it seemed as if the very long winter was coming to an end. For all the wonderful things Strawberry Shortcake had done to help her neighbors, she had been elected queen of the spring regatta. What's a regatta, Bluebelly? It's a sailboat race. Ooh! The weather turned warm. It seemed like spring was in the air. Raspberry was planning a big fashion show to display her spring line. Okay, so the models will walk around the fabulous fountain. Oh, the fountain, the symbol for spring showers, of watering cans, watering spring, uh, flowers, of snow melting to waterfalls, rivers, raindrops. I think we get the idea. Raspberry, I think it's a wonderful idea. Something a little different than a catwalk. <laughs> I'm so very excited. It's going to be spectacular. 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 Oh, I tell you, no one in Berry Bitty City will have seen a water show like it. It will be a great success, Barrick and Bruce. I've been planning for weeks, but only Strawberry knows about it. It's gonna be a surprise as a celebration of spring. I say, you hand me that whoops later, would you? Here you are there, Ed, old pal. Uh-huh. Is that a webzillator? Uh, hope so? Now you know that it is not so. That, over there. Now, to your left. Oh, never mind. I'll get it myself. You know, Ed, I'm kind of wishing it was still winter. You know what? It still could be. This has been a wacky season. Back and forth, coming and going. Oh, I miss skating around on those skaty doohickeys Blueberry made us uh, for traveling on the icy roads. Icy skites, Earl. She calls them icy skites. Oh, uh, yes, I, I suppose that is true. Well, the roads aren't frosted anymore. So, so, Ed? Let's say we glue some ice cubes on our icy sky blades and we can put these doohickeys to use all through the summer. The what goes? Ice cubes, all summer glue. Do you have any idea? I know. Don't say it. Another one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense. You need this? No, I don't need that. I... <gasps> the boss. Barrick and Ed, Barrick and Earl, I have a surprise. You do? But it's for later. What is it? Uh-uh. Now, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely, Raspberry. Wait, wait. Oh, yes. Ooh, the crown. I know it's not the real Regatta Queen's crown. You'll have to be officially crowned by Princess Berrykin. But I wanted you to get the whole, you know, the whole idea. I really feel like a queen. Mail delivery, Miss Raspberry Tort. Ooh, 
goodness sake, is that your regatta queen costume? <laughs> it is indeed. Didn't Raspberry do a wonderful job? You both do very bitty city justice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Would you like your mail now as well, Miss Shortcake? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Milk, got a buzz. Have a very nice day. Oh, wow. It's the invitation to your spring fashion show at the fountain. Thank you, Raspberry. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh-oh. What a oh I'm sorry, Raspberry, but Barry and Bruce planned the big water show weeks ago and wanted to keep it a surprise. Otherwise, he would have known that he wanted the same date as you. Well, I could move my date and resend the invitations, I guess. Let's see if we can work this out. Well, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hello, Hello Barry and Bruce. Bruce. I wonder if you could help us, Barry and Bruce. Raspberry sent out invitations to a fashion show she has planned around the fountain. A fashion show? How very wonderful. <sighs> My new spring line. Um, and it's for the same day that you wanted to do your water show. Shh! It's a surprise. I know. She only told me because, well, I was wondering, since no one knows about it yet, could you maybe be flexible with your date? Maybe you could put your show off one day, or have it the day before, or two days before, or two days after, or... Am I invited? Well, sure. <laughs> of course you're invited. Well, I don't see why I couldn't have the water show the day after. Oh, oh, thank you, Barry King Bruce. You saved my spring fashion show. Oh, well, it's nothing. Uh, I'm glad to help. Uh, can you fellas hold down the fort? I gotta go uh, do something real important. I'll be back in a couple hours. Sounds great, boss. Yep, uh, see you later. <laughs> Do you suppose it's a surprise thingamajig that he's working on? I don't suppose, because I'm not supposed to suppose. It's a surprise, Earl. That's what the boss wants. That's what he'll have. <laughs> Ooh, nicely done. Shall we try it with the music now? Oh, hi, Barry King Bruce. Hi, Barry King Bruce. Uh, Miss Tort, may I have a word? Of course. He seems undone, beside himself. Wonder what he's upset about. But this is the best time for me to work out my fountain show, while all the barricans are down at the Berry Works. I don't want them to see the surprise. I understand, but right now is when the light's just right for my rehearsal. And the girls were able to take some time off during lunch. Go, oh, what'll I do, what'll I do? What if you rehearsed your water show at night? Please, not so loud. I don't want anyone else to find out about the surprise. What surprise? Uh, sorry. Did we hear someone say surprise? Yeah. I'm doing a spring water show extravaganza. Ooh! Don't worry, we won't breathe a word. A spring water show extravaganza? Wow, that's neat. <laughs> you forgot your lunch, boss. Wowzers. I see you got super bitty aqua berrykin blast on your lunchbox. Maybe you'd like to switch with me sometime. I got super bitty fern tendril free to firefly on mine. Oh. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh well, back to work. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the surprise. Oh. You know, Barry King Bruce, Strawberry has a calendar in her cafe with all the community events. Why don't we organize a rehearsal schedule? That's a very good idea. There we go. Problem solved. Now the fashion show and the water show both have their own rehearsal times. 
<laughs> Sorry I'm late for rehearsal. Wait, stop! Slow down! Whoa. Whoa. Nice beat! We've got you, Plum. <laughs> I liked it all the way up to that last move. Barry and Bruce must have been rehearsing his water show here last night. The whole place is soaking wet. Oh, should we rehearse somewhere else? We could, but today we need to hang the decorations. Oh, I hope they don't get soggy. <sighs> if Barry and Bruce is going to get the whole area soaking wet all the time, I, I, I don't know if this whole sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Looking good, oh. Mm hmm. Say, it's closing time. Where's the boss? You're right. I haven't seen him for hours. Maybe he's working on the surprise. Which I guess isn't so much of a surprise to you anymore, is it? Aw, oh, Ed, you know I can't tell. But since I know what the surprise is, maybe I should go check and see if he needs any help with it. You do that. Aw, oh, Ed. Me down, Earl. I'm all tangled up in these silly decorations. I think they are quite cheerful. Oh, just will you please help me down? Oh, oh, oh yes, uh, uh, yes, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. How am I supposed to practice my water show here with all these paper decorations? Uh, maybe we could put umbrellas over them. Uh, see, you put the umbrellas up and, and the water doesn't, um, get on decorations. <laughs> I think I better go talk to Strawberry. I don't think this sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Um, Earl, thank you. I think I can handle this myself. Uh, okay, boss. I'll see ya. Later. Ugh. Umbrellas. <sighs> Strawberry, we've tried. <laughs> we really have. Hmm, you know, I've been thinking. And maybe this is an idea that doesn't make very much sense. But I'm going to tell you anyway. Because sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up making more sense than you think. Tell us! What if you combine the fountain show and the fashion show and work together? You mean model my spring line while the water show is going on? <laughs> but my fashions would get soaked. Wait a minute. Barrick and Earl had an idea. Well, he mentioned something about umbrellas. What if your model's modeled with umbrellas? That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> what a very unique idea. Oh, the whole spring showers thing I was going for, which is why, well, it's because, I mean, that's why I wanted to do the fashion show around the fountain in the first place. Let's do it. <laughs> Great, problem solved. Spring celebration. Wow, Lemon, you're almost done. These are the most beautiful sails I have ever seen. This will be the very best spring regatta ever. With the very best queen. Evening, boss. Ah, evening, Ed. Earl. The Super Booster Juice Flow Pumperator is ready to go. This will really boost production at the Berry Works. That's 
very good news. Uh, anything wrong, boss? Well, I gotta tell you, the, the girls' spring fashion show is spectacular, and I was sort of hoping my water show would be spectacular, too. But with the fashion show in front, I'm worried no one will even notice it. That's uh, rough, gee. boss. I wish there were just some way to make it bigger, more spectacular. Any ideas, guys? You, um, want to boost the power of the water jets? Well, yeah, that would work. What if we hook up the Super Booster Juice Flow Pumper to the fountain controls? That's a great idea, Ed. Uh, let's roll her over there. Uh, what is it, Earl? Oh, um, nothing. You want to come along? No, no, I'll just get in the way. This'll be great. A water show that no one will ever forget. Rev her up, Ed. Wow! Wow is right! Boy, oh boy, is everyone gonna be surprised! Ooh, they're getting kinda cold, boss. Yeah, well, let's call it a night. If I didn't know different, you might think winter's coming back. And all that night, the fountain sprayed and sprayed, and the wind blew and blew, and it got colder and colder and colder. And the very next morning, what do you suppose had happened? It freezed. Exactly. <laughs> not all that froze. I just came from the lake. It's frozen solid. <gasps> huh? Huh? I thought it was spring. I mean, it was. But I guess it wasn't because winter is definitely back. All those beautiful sails Lemon painted for the spring regatta. Oh, Strawberry, I wish there was a way you could still be queen. Not on a frozen lake. We could icy skite on the frozen lake. I already put my icy skites away. Oh, wow. Oh, we could... Oh, we could just... What was that? Well, I was thinking of Blueberry's Icy Skites, and... Uh, oh, nothing. Nothing. Uh -huh. I know that look. You were getting another of your ideas. You mean, one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense. Listen to me, Earl, old buddy. Don't listen to me. I mean, don't listen to all those times I said your ideas were silly. Just forget them. I'm sorry I said him. Your ideas are very good and should be said. If you have an idea, Barry Ken Earl, we'd love to hear it. Really? Yeah, like you said, Strawberry, sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up being the best. Like, like, Earl, didn't you have the umbrella idea that saved the show? Uh, when there was a show? Well, my idea is, um, on the lake, I mean, on the ice, we could do it all. A kind of, I don't know, 
winter ice skating fashion show thingy? Hey! An ice show! A fashion show on ice! What's this mountain in the middle? Whipped cream. Uh, I mean, the frozen fountain. I, I thought maybe uh, put it out there, right on the ice. Uh, kind of like a... Uh... A centerpiece. An ice sculpture right in the middle of the... <gasps> It'd be beautiful. We'll just slide it over, sculpt it a bit. It'll be spectacular. Hey, yeah! A great idea! Ooh, I could turn my fabulous spring fashions into... into ice fashions. I can donate all the winter fashions you helped me make for my Icy Skites commercial. Wow! It'll totally work! Fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be great! But the regatta... Hmm, the boats... Yeah, there's no way to sail our boats on the ice. No? There's a way. If we borrow some of your icy skites. Oh, like how Barry King Bruce and I cleverly combined our shows, we could also combine the regatta. I could write this song all by myself, sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely, it's true. Everything is better with you. I could be alone all day, by myself in the cafe. It doesn't matter what I do. Everything is better with you. Everything is better with you. And so, the very long winter had come and gone and come back again. This time, no one knew how long it would stay. But this time, it didn't matter. Everyone had found that wintertime or springtime, they could always find a way to have fun together. That in Berry Bitty City, every season had its own very big possibilities. She goes, but when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? There you are. Where have you been? This is our last ball. Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. Oh, that's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepup! Wanna play fetch the ball? Huh? Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Good catch! <laughs> hey! Marmalade! That isn't polite! <sighs> Into that 
Strawberry Puppy. Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. Soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean? Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love you, too. Come on. Want to see Strawberry? <gasps> Let's go see Strawberry. Enjoy the eye mask, and uh, I'm gonna add some extra special berry conditioning, a uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, sure. Okay, Lemon. Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> Uh, it feels like you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? Ah! Seen one 
this bad. I'll check out the inside. You guys go ahead and get to work. You got it, boss! Oh. Mm-hmm. I see. Oh. Over oh, pressurized juicerator with a flapper noided floor miter. Do you think you can Do you think you can fix it? Oh, no problem. As soon as we find what's causing it, we'll fix it. That's great! Of course, finding what's causing it might take most of the morning. Oh! And the better part of the afternoon. Oh. But we'll have it whooped by tonight, guaranteed. Is it going to be this noisy all over town? Oh, yeah. But this is nothing. A couple hours from now, when we bring in the juice-powered trench diggers, you won't be able to hear yourselves think. If I were you, I'd just close up shop for the day. The whole day? What are we gonna do? We have businesses to run, appointments to keep, sessions to create, dances to rehearse. Well, um, I think we... we should... appreciate what you're doing to fix things, but could we have just a minute of quiet so we can figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the day? Oh, uh, sure. No problem. You got it. I vote we wait around in Soundproof Blueberry's bookstore and it might not be practical. Ride our scooters to Barry Biddy Dale and back? And, uh, back again? We need juice power for that, too. I vote we spend the entire day Bored. No! Okay, bored and frustrated. No! I mean, this is a great opportunity. For what? Something new. Something exciting. Fun, different. Like, like... Hmm. Our own sporting event. What kind of sporting oh. event? Well, I don't know. How about a relay race? Woohoo! Our own Berry Biddy relay race. Huh. Uh huh. Interesting. And why Biddy? Why not go for Berry Berry Big? A relay race on land, on water, and in the sky. Yeah! We'll have teams. We'll start at the Whoa. lake with a sailboat race. Yeah! And then you pass the baton to the next team. Uh, uh. <gasps> a steeplechase on frogs! Yeah! Fun! Great! Wow! Sounds wonderful! And then they pass the baton to the third team. A sky race! Flying on birds! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Strawberry oh, yeah. Sound oh, yeah. All in favor? Aye! <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess it's unanimous. Come on, let's go. I oh, can't wow. wait! <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? To watch the sporting event of the year? Where else? Do you want to miss it? No, but... Oh, we can't. We got a job to do. Oh? Uh, just for a little while. Uh, if the boss saw us leave, we'd be in trouble. But if he didn't see us leave... Keep at it. We have to find that blockage. Careful, Earl. There he is. Quick, before he sees us. All right. Cherry is racing for Team 1. And Plum for Team 2. Okay, you zigzag through those buoys to the other side of the lake. Then turn around, and it's a straight shot back to the dock. Good luck! You're gonna do it! We'll be cheering for ya! Think win! On your mark... 
Get set! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Marmalade, no! That's not a toy. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? On your mark. Get set! Go! Get to the lake. Well, how? I can't see where we're going. <sighs> Look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. And what else? Your feet. Ugh. What else, Earl? Rocks? Right! Rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see Lake! <laughs> Here! <sighs> 
Everyone listen up, hear my proclamation About taking dreams seriously Erase your fears, don't worry about the You were right, Ed! The best way to see this race is to be in it! Feel inspired, learn, ask a million questions Be the very best you can be, yeah Just imagine all the possible directions Let's make history This turned out to be a, a bigger job than we thought. Oh, yeah, um, uh, really big. But we'll have everything up and running by morning. Guaranteed. No problem. If it isn't finished, I'm sure we'll find a way to entertain ourselves. <laughs> you can <laughs> <say> <laughs> yes, that that too. Right. Well, I'm tired. How about you guys? Ooh, I'm not a for bed. Oh, can't wait. wait for tomorrow. Marmalade? Ooh, doggone it, where'd that puppy go? Technology and fashion cooking show video take number... What is it now? 23! Take 23. Hi, everyone. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Tonight, I'm making Myrtle Berry Meringue. It's a great favorite here at Strawberry's Cafe in Berry Bitty City, and it's such a fun recipe. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful, mirthful berries. I mean, Myrtle. Myrtle berries. Oh, sorry. Cut! That's a mirthful mouthful. Take 24. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle berries. Uh, oh, no! Oh. oh! Cut! I'll tell you one thing, Strawberry. Don't quit your day job. Sour? What? Quiet on the set, please. Oh, sorry. Was I holding you up? Like it makes a difference. They say they're going to play this video on a skirt they're inventing. That's also a video screen. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Sour, please. Take 25. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful oh, myrtle berries. Cut! What? <gasps> One more time. Quiet on the set! Take 26. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle bow! Oh, not again. Oh, power's been going off all day. We'll never get our video done. What are they doing down at the Berry Works power station? Finally! Take 27! Ugh! 
How are you whiz kids gonna enter a technology in fashion contest with no technology? We'll have to continue later, whiz kids. It's getting dark and I need to take care of deliveries at the marketplace. But first, I'm gonna find out what's going on at the Berry Works. Gary! <laughs> Somebody cap that cracked crinolator! Bouncing bitterberries! What happened, Barrick and Bruce? Ah, uh, Sparkleberry Strainer popped a grommet. Oh, looks bad. Uh, not as bad as when the peach pit pulverizer exploded. We were up to our pips and pulp for a week. Hey! Move that mango masher! No, not that one! The other one! Eh, don't worry. Barricans are on the job. The power will be up and down tonight, but we'll have it fixed by first thing in the morning. I hope. Come on, Barricans! This whole place looks like it's too very short of a fruit salad! I'd better tell the girls it's a wrap till tomorrow. Oh, uh, Strawberry Shortcake speaking. Hi, Cousin Strawberry. Apple Dumpling? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in forever. How are you? I'm great! Always on the move, you know. Gotta see what's over that next hill, as we real travelers say. Thought I'd call and let you know I was thinking of stopping by for a quick visit. Oh, I'd love to see you. Things are just a little... crazy right now. When were you thinking of arriving? I'm guessing in about five, four, three, two, one. Huh? Are you all right? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this was nothing. Did I tell you about the time I climbed Mount Macadamia and discovered it's a volcano? That's right. I saw your post on your Very Best Bits page, but sure you're all right? Well, I had to dodge some lava chunks the size of a house when it erupted, but other than that... Uh, no, I mean the crash. This? Ah, this was no crash. The time I went over Crabapple Falls in a kayak, that was a crash. There I was, down the creek without a paddle, when all of a sudden... Oh, I almost forgot. Tea time. Oh, okay, I'll make us both a cup as soon as we get to town. No, tea time turtle. There he is. He goes everywhere with me. I'm so glad you came to visit. I save every postcard you send me. Everyone's gonna be so excited to meet you. We all follow you on Very Best Bits and love all your pics and posts. Now, I don't want to cause anybody any bother. I just dropped by for a quick visit. I'll be gone before you can say, planes, trains, and airplanes. But you just got here. Oh, well, you know how it is when you're a world traveling adventurer. You have so many pen pals to visit, you can't stay in one place for long. Can you stay just a little while? The Bear Kids will have to fix the bus, and they're all busy now. <gasps> you can stay overnight with me! Well, I guess I could stay just one day. A real bedroom would be nice. I I'm used to sleeping in my tent or the cabin on my little one-girl sailboat. I mean, one girl and turtle sailboat. Right, tea time? Tea time? <laughs> oh, there you are. Sorry I can't be a better host, but I have to get all that stuff ready for tomorrow's customers. Oh, let me help. I can turn any boring chore into an adventure. Did I tell you about the time I hitched a ride on a cargo ship and helped the crew swab the deck by getting a whale to splash it clean? Oh, yeah. I read about that on your Very Best Bits feed. Didn't the ship kind of get, um, full of water? <laughs> yep. I turned it into the biggest swimming pool ever. Hmm. I, uh, see what you mean. And how did the captain feel about that? You should have seen his face. It was so sweet. I guess nobody had ever done something like that for him. He just sat there and cried. I can imagine. Leave it to me. I've got all kinds of ideas how to get this organized. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, you're my guest. 
You just get settled upstairs, and I'll see you after I'm done working. Well, okay. You sure? <laughs> Very sure. Well, Barrack and Bruce said they'd get it fixed, so I'll be at the cafe first thing in the morning. Thank you, Strawberry. Okay, Lemon. You have a good night, too. <sighs> It's me. I thought you might want to see my collection of your postcards. Apple? Surprise! Well, are you ready? <laughs> For what? This. Galloping gooseberries. What's this? I gave our room a makeover. This is what it looks like inside the crystal crater caverns that I explored. Isn't it just amazing? Yes, it's... You can do something like this, but do you think we could turn it off so we could get some sleep? Oh, oh sure, no problem. Oops. <laughs> I got so excited I forgot to add an off button. But don't worry, the lights will run out of juice on their own. Uh, when will that be? About sunrise? Thanks, tea time. Here you go, Strawberry. Thank you. my very best bits followers of Apple's amazing adventures, I begin the story. Oh, thanks, Tea Time. I begin the story of my latest adventure, Avalanche Surfing, How I Rode the Wild Snow. <laughs> oh, hi there. Do you like my adventure story? Well, would you like to hear more? Yeah! Well, there I was. Ooh. High up in the Apricot Alps. Ooh. Snowboarding an avalanche. Ooh. Faster and faster, I raced down the slope. The avalanche was hot on my heels. And then, all of a sudden... Ooh. Wait a minute. Why tell you about it when I can show you? Come on! <laughs> okay, once we install this valve, we're back in business. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Yeah. Whew. Now let's see if it works. And hop. <laughs> well, juice me and call me a 
smooth. It works! to ratchet into the fairy juice system and you have a snow making machine Video take what is it now? 153 Take 153. Now remember, once we've mashed our myrtle berries, we need to blend them for only one minute. If you blend too long, it will foam up and get all over. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Hot! Take 154. Strawberry. Uh, Cat! 155. Remember, we need to blend our Myrtleberry meringue only for a minute. If we blend too long, it'll foam up and get all over everything. I think she's got it. I think this take is going to be the one. Oh. Again. <sighs> That's just wonderful. Great. What else is going to go wrong? Quick, shut it down. Shut it down. What is it? Another popped grommet? No, this is worse. A blowout in the juice cooler. What could have made that happen? Not what? Who? <gasps> Strawberry? Apple? Can we talk? I've thought about it, and I think it's best if I just leave. <laughs> Come on, Apple, don't go. Everybody feels bad about what happened, but we can work it out. We're family here. I don't want to leave, but I have places to go, people to see. Gotta find the next big adventure for my very best bits feed. Being a famous traveler is what I do. It's why people like me. Is that why you don't stay with anyone for very long? Hot <laughs> strawberry. I'm not like you and everybody else here. Having something you do that people need. At least stay until the barricans can fix the bus. Oh, I can fix the bus. Faster than you can say batten down the hatches. It's my fault it crashed in the first place. I got curious how the booster worked and I, uh, tried to improve it. <laughs> I guess I improved it too much. Fixed? How'd you do that? I don't know. I just kind of look at stuff and I see how it works. 
see a strawberry. Well, but... Call, okay? Send me a postcard. I will. Strawberry! <gasps> All right, where is she? That cousin of yours, where'd she go? Oh, what'd she do this time? Do? You're not gonna believe it. I don't know how she could have done such a thing. Ooh, that bad, huh? Bad? No! It's good! It's great! It's brilliant! She fixed the power system! Better than new! She's a genius! Best Sparkleberry Techie in the very bitty world! Where is she? I gotta hire her! This town needs her! It keeps saying she's out of range. What'd she do? Leave town? Apple! 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 Oh, I think we're lost. Huh? Whoa! you to give me and my crew a crash course in fixing stuff. Apple, I want you to tell the kids your adventure stories at story time. We all want you to stay. There's no one aboard? How to do that? Automatic return. A little feature I added tells the butterflies when you don't need the bus anymore. Because you know you're not gonna leave. When you know you found the people you wanna stay with and the place you wanna stay. Welcome home. It was a dark and stormy night. Ah, no, no. It was a very dark and stormy night. No, no. A very dark and very stormy night. A night perfectly made for crime. But little did the crooked criminals know, it was also a perfect night for Ace Detective Peggy Periwinkle to be on the prowl for purloiners, pilferers, and petty cooks. Not cooks, crooks. Hi, Blueberry. <laughs> Hello there, Scouty. Hey! Oh, hello, Strawberry. Cherry. What are you working on? <laughs> oh, uh, just trying to write a detective story as spectacular as a Patty Persimmon mystery. I want to submit it to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Wow, do you think they would buy it? Uh, not in its present form. No. 
I mean, here I am, the ultimate Patty Persimmon detective fan, and I can't even come up with a decent mystery to solve. It's absolutely criminal! <laughs> oh, what a good boy, Scotty. Aren't you talented? Oh, yes, you are. Is... Well, I'd love to read your story when you're finished. While you're waiting, guess what I just got in? The latest Patty Persimmon novel, The Mystery of the Mangled Macaroni. I ordered 200 copies. Oh, uh, my goodness. Bosley, could you please toss me down a mangled macaroni? Um, I don't think... Uh, I mean... <laughs> now, where is that bookworm? Bosley? Coming up, or down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's her best yet. A master criminal creeps into a macaroni factory, makes off with the cheese, and, well, I don't want to give away the ending, but I can tell you, it's a shocker. Oh! Enjoy! Compliments to Blueberry's Bookstore. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I still have the mystery of the haunted cell phone and the case of the gone, gone gondolier to finish before I get to this one. Cherry? Oh, if I could come back for it, I'm only halfway through the half-explained case of the half-empty milk glass, and then I have Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crooked, uh, crackling... Cur curtailed? Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crumbling cookie. It's... electrifying. But we can't wait to come back for... Uh, the mangled macaroon. Hmm. Uh, we actually came by for... Would you happen to have the new Berry Big Glitz and Glamour magazine? We wanted to see where Cherry's latest song is on the charts. <sighs> Coming right up. Wait, watch this. Scouty, here, boy! Very big glitz and glamour magazine. Fetch, boy! No, that's point. Fetch, Scouty, fetch! I've been training him all week. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Scouty. Good boy. No, Scouty, it is not a toy. Wah! Now, now, really? <laughs> ah! oh! Now, where'd he go? There you are. <laughs> Cherry, sorry about the uh, slobber. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, Scouty. Thank See you. you later, Blueberry. You want me to read it to you again? <laughs> I'm glad someone around here appreciates Patty Persimmon as much as I do. <laughs> Say, I know someone else who loves Patty as much as we do. Huckleberry. <laughs> I can't wait to read it, but I've been super busy trying to get Hawk's Home for Homeless Dogs up on its feet. I'm afraid it's just not going to happen. Oh, Huckleberry, I'm so sorry. Hey, I, uh, have an idea that... Uh, Scouty, down! That might help us both out. If you wouldn't mind coming out to... Scouty! To Berry Bitty City for a couple of days. What kind of idea? Scouty! Hey there, Scouty. Tom Tom's town boy. I guess Tom Tom wouldn't mind a visit. Oh, yes. I know Scouty really misses Tom Tom. Tom Tom uh, misses Scouty, too. So, uh, I was trying to write a mystery story to submit to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. That's great, Blueberry. But I wasn't coming up with a lot of ideas, so I thought since you're as big a Patty Persimmon detective fan as I am, perhaps we could. Write the story together? 
If they bought the story, you would have funds for your pet shelter. Wow, I'm flattered that you'd ask me, but I've never written a story before. Oh, it'll be easy. We'll just... Oh. <laughs> Scouty, behave. We'll just write it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll be there tonight and I'll be there. Tom, Tom, no. And this time we won't take a wrong turn. <laughs> okay, see ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Ha! We're not getting stuck in there again. Right, Tom, Tom? Wow, they must have added a tunnel since we were here. Hmm, I think we should go this way. That's okay, don't worry. I know exactly where I'm going. Ah, oh, mud pies. Could you please get that, Bosley? Certainly. Good evening, Blueberry's Berry Bitty Bookstore. Bosley Bookworm speaking. May I speak with Blueberry? Oh, she's right here. Uh, for you, Blueberry. Thanks, Bosley. Blueberry speaking. Oh, hi, Huckleberry. You're where? That's it. Bring her down. Huckleberry, you okay in there? Blueberry, hi. Uh, any idea how long before I can get out of here? Tell them not to fret. We'll have them out of there by dinner time. <laughs> no worries! You and I are expert Patty Persimmon fans. Very Bitty Mysteries magazine is going to love our story. When we're inside, we need to use our inside voices and inside manners, all right? Now please sit. No Scouty, that's Search. <laughs> I'm still training him. See? Like Tom Tom, sit. Good boy, Scouty. So I have this idea for a brand new detective, Peggy Periwinkle. What do you think? Uh, sounds great, but isn't it a little bit like Patty Persimmon? As close as I could get. But don't you think we should invent something, I don't know, different? Oh, no. That's the whole idea. It is? Sure. Because anyone who likes Patty Persimmon will automatically love Peggy Periwinkle. I guess. I knew you'd like it. You know, I've always had this idea for a new detective team who would go and... Don't worry. I have it all worked out. Ready? Okay, take this down. It all began on a dark and stormy night. Uh, no, strike that. A very dark and stormy night. A night perfectly made for... For... Crime? Crime! Perfect! But little did the creeping, crooked criminals know, it also was a perfect night for... Patty, uh, Peggy Periwinkle, Ace Detective. Finished! The Berry Betty Mysteries editors are going to love it! It took all night, but it was worth it. Our story is great! Right, Huckleberry? Hey, oh, what? Yeah, oh, yeah, great. Hmm, well, what time is it? Time to mail our story. Well, I don't know about our story. I hardly had any ideas at all. Oh, that's silly. We're a great team. I'll meet you at Strawberry's Cafe for breakfast as soon as I mail this off at the post office. Bye. Blueberry pancakes, fresh and hot. Mmm, my favorite. Thanks for keeping breakfast going. Sorry 
day I was late. I started telling everyone at the post office about the story How Can I Wrote, and before I knew it, I just had to read them the whole thing, and they absolutely loved it. Everyone said it was just like a Patty Persimmon book. Strawberry, I have found the perfect writing partner. I'm gonna tell Huck that after we sell this story, we should just keep on writing Peggy Periwinkle books. Wait, where is Huck? I thought we were going to... Have breakfast? Yeah. No, I mean, I thought he'd be here when I, uh... He already ate and left. I've said he had an idea for something he wanted to write. Oh. Sugar? Oh, um, no, no thanks. Okay, how about this? Hmm? A perfect day in every way. <gasps> Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. I like that. Really? Hmm? Yeah, I, I hear it like this. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Nice. How about this for the last verse? I could write this song all by myself, sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely. It's true. Everything is better with you. They're writing a song together? That's just beautiful. I could write this song all by myself, sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely. It's true. Everything is better with you. It was an even darker and stormier night than the night before. Peggy Periwinkle was looking for her flashlight when all of a sudden... Hi, Blueberry. Uh, hello. Uh, sorry I was late for breakfast. When I got there, you'd already gone. Yeah, I had to go and I needed to... I mean, I was, uh... Hey, could I get some paper from you? And pencils? Oh, well, certainly. You know what we say, a complete line of stationery is always in stock at Blueberry's Bookstore. Doing some writing? Oh, just, you know, good to have in case any ideas pop up. Sort of jot them down. <laughs> Thanks. Well, see you later. Wait! Um, did I ever tell you that of all the Patty Persimmon fans in the Berry Bitty world, I have the largest collection of... Patty Persimmon Mystery Club detective hats? Wow! And the most complete collection of official Patty Persimmon magnifying glasses! Incredible! Oh, wow! Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. I have to, uh. Wow, thanks! Blueberry, that's. that's just fantastic! Like to look at it again sometime, but I gotta. uh. see ya! I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery, or my name isn't. Peggy Periwinkle! I think. this. will finish it. How's that? Perfect. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Things are so much better when you're around. You pick me up when I'm feeling down. We make memories together that can't be replaced. I could write this song all by Yeah.
stay together, two for one. We're there for each other, just like a friend should be. What's that? What is it, boy? What'd you see? Come on, Tom Tom. <gasps> Evening, Blueberry. Can I get you something? Your guitar? My guitar? I was wondering if I could borrow it. Of course. Are you. Well, I thought it would be nice to learn how to play. You know, music. And maybe sing and. Sure. You know, Cherry's a terrific teacher. Oh, well, I'll just try on my own uh, at first. Thank you, Strawberry. Anytime. Becoming a pop star is going to be harder than I thought. I'm still not sure I understand. Well, Lemon, what I'm looking for is... Well, what's in style now? <sighs> well, what about this one I showed you before? I mean, more like something like... Oh, for example, what hairstyle did Cherry get the last time she was here? It's sort of low-key. I mean, if you're going for the newest, hippest, cutting edge... Uh, well, what if... Let's say Cherry, for example. I mean, I'm just using her as an example. I could say any pop star. I could say Delia Dragonfruit or the Four Berries or, hmm. you know... So, if Cherry, just for example, was about to perform a song at a concert, what if you did my hair like you think she'd wear it? Well, I'd have to ask her. Oh, no! Uh, don't do that! Because it would depend on the venue and the theme and... Do you have any other magazines? Sorry, Blueberry, but I gotta reschedule you. We've used up your whole appointment style consulting instead of styling. And Plum has a manicure in two minutes. Oh. Why don't you take these magazines home and look them over and decide what is you? That's just it. Me isn't good enough. But no matter what Peggy Periwinkle did, she could not solve the greatest mystery of all. Hi, Blueberry. Uh, hope I'm not too late to get some more copies of tomorrow's menu. Uh, no, that's fine. Just leave it and I'll have it, um, uh, done by morning. Working on another story? Mm-hmm. But Huckleberry's not here. Isn't he writing with you? I guess not anymore. Blueberry? Is something wrong? Oh, Strawberry. <laughs> I think he has a new writing partner. Who? Cherry Jam! They're writing a song together. Oh, Blueberry. It was supposed to be a surprise. A surprise? The words Huckleberry wrote that Cherry put to music. He wrote them for you. He wanted to show you that he's a good writer, even if he can't write exactly like the Patty Persimmon books. Oh, no! I made him think I didn't like his ideas. I never gave him a chance to get a word in edgewise. Oh, mystery solved. Okay, this is the one. This hat is going to give me the inspiration for great mystery ideas. You had good ideas. I just wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry about the whole misunderstanding about the song. Were you really going to change your hairstyle? But... You're the one who taught me that you always have to be yourself. Then you know people like you for who you are. Remember? I remember. Well, how about we start our story? This time with your ideas. Okay, but just jump in any time, all right? I will. It wasn't a dark and stormy night. It was a wild and windy day. A day that was perfect for... Stan and Stacy, stealth sleuths. I like it. <laughs> 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 